Hello. Hello, hello. Cameraman, turn it on. Turn me on. Hello, hello, Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you here from Australia. Let me put my feet up so I can be living large again. Hanging out down here at Kangaroo City. I've got a show today that uh, I'm going to be a prophet. Well, Joseph Smith was a prophet. Okay, bring in the 14-year-olds. Bring them in. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, anyway, there's something new going on with uh, the Mormon Church, and President Monson has got his ass in a sling again. And um, I'm going to put some uh, websites up that you can check and see for yourself what I'm saying is true. You know the bar don't lie. Anyway, here's what's going on. I did a video uh, years ago on the Indian program that the Mormon Church had. They call them Lamanites. They took kids off of the Navajo reservation. They baptized them and then they put them into foster homes uh, that were run by Mormon people in the ward or in the state. Now, those kids got molested. <laughs> and the church had just swept it under the carpet. <laughs> The carpet has a great big hump in it. The Mormon carpet has a, a huge hump from sweeping shit underneath. Well, anyway, <clears throat> a short story long is that the children that were molested were pissed, and now they're really pissed. They've sued uh, the church and the uh, program uh, for damages. It's a legal um, civil suit, and they have subpoenaed Thomas S. Monson, the invisible prophet of the Mormon Church who's never prophesied anything in his life. Uh, I'm going to prophesy right here. I think this is going to fly. I think this is going to fly. I've been doing a little bit of looking at the, uh, uh, the arguments and the motions. Uh, I think that the attitude and the demeanor, uh, or demeanor of the society is going to side with the Indians. They yanked these kids out of their Navajo homes, they forced English on them, and they forced church membership on them, trying to say, see, we're saving the Lamanites like the Book of Mormon says we should. And those children got molested. They were abused and molested in those Mormon homes. Now, a couple of the, uh, or several of those children have sued. Now, again, I, I I'm not going to give you every detail. If you're not smart enough to read a deposition, if you're not smart enough to read an order to quash, if you're not smart enough to go through that stuff, then just take my word for it. I think the Mormon Church is going to lose. Uh, evidently, the, the Indians are pretty smart these days. They, they build casinos and the white man comes in and gives them free money. <laughs> so they're getting back for stealing their land. Uh, and and killing their buffalo. I'm going to go off just a little bit on this. Uh, I just spent three days in um, Santa Barbara, three days in Vegas, three days in San Francisco, and then we drove back across the country. The bar drove back ten hours straight over to uh, the um, South Dakota, the Black Hills, and we went to Rush Mount Rushmore. So anyway, be that as it may, getting back to the main subject here, the church ordered uh, to quash, which means squash or throw out or, or uh, excuse, get rid of the um, motion on Monson having to give a, uh, a deposition. And they based it on the grounds that the tribal courts don't have jurisdiction over this case. Uh, I have to hand it to the Mormon attorneys. They're sharp as a tack. They don't miss a, a penny under the carpet. They'll find every reason, every excuse, case law, uh, statute law. They'll find anything they can and throw it against the wall to see what's going to stick. So anyway, the Indians uh, originally filed in the uh, district court uh, of their tribal lands. And now the, uh, the court uh, is making a decision of whether to throw out the quash and uh, I'm looking at the computer and it appears that the court has decided on Friday that uh, their, the lawsuit can go forward that Monson is going to have to testify 
and that uh, there is going to be a deposition. Now, the attorneys for the church have not quit. They're, you know, they're going to come up with this excuse, that excuse, his age. You know, he's not good enough to do a deposition, but he's good enough to lead the, the prophet of the church on the face of the earth. How do you argue that one? They will. They will. His age, he can't, he can't be deposed. Well, then if his age can't cause a deposition, how can it cause a revelation? So anyway, they got themselves backed into a corner and they're just throwing every piece of spaghetti against the wall to try to protect the prophet. He was in a high uh, official position and the jest of the lawsuit is that he knew or should have known that these molestations were going on and he did nothing about them. So anyway, um, I'm not sure what the, the Indian law is on a statute of limitations. It hasn't gotten to that point yet. But I just wanted to put down um, the motion uh, to quash the motion to uh, have him subpoenaed and testify for a deposition. So anyway, <laughs> I think the Indians are going to bite him on the ass. I really do. I think that the, the mood of the country is for the wrongdoings of white, powerful men uh, that have taken advantage of the less uh, capable in our society. And these poor young children were yanked out of their families, placed by LDS social services, uh, and forced to be baptized, forced to speak English, and to uh, disavow and get rid of all of their tribal ties. And at the same time, they all, not all, many of them were molested. So anyway, it's an interesting um, legal case. Uh, I'll keep informed on it. I'll try to inform you. I'm not, like I said, I'm not hitting every fact because I don't want to. I don't want to. If the Mormon Church had not ruined my life, I think I would have been an attorney. I enjoy the law, and the reason I left law school, I went to one year law school, in uh, Ventura, California, Ventura Law School. But when I found out that um, you have to lie, cheat, and steal, I quit because I was a Mormon. I wasn't going to lie, cheat, and steal. If I hadn't been a Mormon, I probably would have been pretty good at lying, cheating, and stealing. I could have been a good attorney. You know, Johnny Cochran and, and OJ, I could have been in there with F. Lee Bailey, is that his name? Anyway, I'll keep you informed. Please pray for the Indians. Pay lay ale. Oh God, hear the words of my mouth repeated three times. By the way, just as an update, this used to be called the true order of prayer. Now it's called the order of prayer in the temple. There's been a couple of changes uh, in some of the wording. So, oh God, hear the words of my mouth repeated three times is the order of prayer used to be the true order of prayer. And the second token of the Melchizedek Priesthood, the patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail, is health in the navel, marrow in the bones, strength in the loins and in the sinews, power in the priesthood be upon me and upon my posterity through all generations of time and throughout all eternity. That is the second token of the Melchizedek Priesthood, the patriarchal grip or sure sign of the nail. So anyway, I'll keep you updated on this, but uh, the Indians have circled the wagons. <laughs> They're Indian wagons this time. When I was in South Dakota, I, I stayed uh, at the motel there in Custer. Custer uh, Town is where uh, the 7th Cavalry uh, had their tents and were set up. And then uh, they went to the battleground and uh, the Indians killed them. So that's the only time the Indians ever killed the white man. And they have a, uh, a uh, wonderful uh, statue there of Crazy Horse, who is the head of the Indians. The statue is not complete yet, but uh, it has his face on the rock by uh, Mush Mount Rushmore. It's not exactly on the same mountain. It's around the corner. But anyway, uh, the Indians won a couple with the 7th Cavalry. And I think that the Indians are going to bury Monson. I really believe that Monson is going to end up having legal problems and the church having to pay um, all kinds of settlements to the Indians who were molested in those Mormon homes and taken pretty much forcefully uh, off the tribal lands 
So anyway, this barge done. I'm going to turn this off. Feeling good. Looking good. Thanks.